When I say the word God, what comes to mind? Love, power, heaven, holiness. These are the types of words that typically come to mind when you hear the word God. But you know what doesn't typically come to mind? Is the word jealous. Jealousy is not something that immediately comes to mind in connection with God. But the Bible tells us that our God is indeed a jealous God. Deuteronomy 4, 23 through 24, KJV. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and make you a graven image, or the likeness of anything, which the Lord thy God hath forbidden thee. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. God is a jealous God. But God's jealousy is righteous and holy. The Bible says God is a jealous God. We can also see this in the book of Exodus. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. There are other verses of the Bible where God was identified as jealous. When we hear this about God, we start to think, why is God jealous? Or why did he call himself jealous? We want to know why, because we have not associated good things with the word jealous. The kind of jealousy we human beings have is not the same as what God has. We have been told not to be jealous many times, and here is God calling himself jealous. This makes us wonder if this is bad or not. The reason why we think of this is that we don't know much about God's jealousy and human jealousy. Before we look at the difference, what is the meaning of jealousy? We need to know that not all kinds of jealousy are sinful. Jealous can mean envious feelings of someone's achievements. This is sinful jealousy and the most common one amongst human beings. They want what others have and they will do anything to get it. This kind of jealousy brings hatred. It brings covetousness. It can result in murder. People can get jealous of their friend's partners. They can get jealous of a happy relationship. People can get jealous of someone's car or house. The brothers of Joseph were envious of Joseph. That is one kind of jealousy. The second kind of jealousy, or another meaning of jealousy, is to be fiercely protective of one's rights or possessions. For instance, if a wife runs off with a man and begins to be intimate with other men, does the husband have the right to be jealous? The answer is yes. When the wife made the commitment to walking down the aisle and saying, I do, to her husband, it gave the husband the right for him to be jealous, if she runs off with other people. This is the exact kind of jealous God called himself, and this is mainly because of us. We are his children. He is the only one who has the right to us. He has bought us with a price. He is protecting us fiercely. He is trying to keep other gods away from us. The Hebrew word for jealous in this context in the Old Testament is Kana, which is used only for God. God is not jealous of other gods. This is where we are getting it wrong. When we hear of God being jealous, what we might think first is that he is jealous of other gods. Why should God, who created everything on earth, the one who can destroy everything, the one with the mighty power, be jealous of what he can destroy? Know this today that God is not jealous of other gods. They are nothing to him, and they are things he can destroy. Also, know that God is not jealous of any man on earth or in heaven. God doesn't care how how powerful anyone can be, he created them. He will never be jealous of them. God is only jealous for you. He is protecting you. He is shielding you from other gods, snatching you away from him. You need to start thinking of what God has done for you. You need to start thinking of his love for you right now. The children of Israel forgot what God had done for them. God parted the Red Sea for their sake, something that has never happened before. God caused plagues to come upon the land of Egypt so that his people would be set free. But with all these obvious miracles, they went ahead to make a graven image and worship it. Maybe you don't get it. I will say it again. God said that he is a jealous God, and that means it doesn't matter what happens. He will go an extra mile to keep what belongs to him. John 10, 28 through 30, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. We, as the sheep of God, find safety in both the hand of the Good Shepherd and God the Father. It's comforting to know that the hands that created the world hold on to us. You matter so much to God. You may not matter to this world. This world couldn't care less about you. If something happened to you, this world would not stop for you. 
the world would keep ticking along. This world wouldn't stop for you, but God would. No one loves you like God. The truth is, many people say they love people, but without even knowing the person. But God knows every single thing about you, every lie you ever told, every sin you have ever committed, every filthy thought that has ever crossed your mind, yet He still loves you. Do you think if everyone knew every thought you had ever thought, they would still love you? I go as far as 99% of the people who say they love you would not love you anymore if they knew every thought you had ever thought. Romans 8, 38-39 For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God's jealousy is for your good. It is for your sake. It is to save your soul and keep you away from the devil. God's jealousy is not about hatred. It is about love. It is about keeping what is dearest to him. Maybe you don't know who you are. It doesn't matter the sins you have committed. It doesn't matter the wrongs you have done. You are still the works of his hands. God made you. He created you. You are special. Are you replacing God with other things that cannot talk or things that are full of deceit? Have you forgotten about God and followed mammon? Who is in charge of your life right now? Is it a person? Who is your idol? Who is taking your heart away from your true love? Is it a job? Time and time again we see God sending warning signs in the Bible that there will one day be a judgment. Even today God is sending the world warning signs. You and I need to wake up. It's time to wake up and put your priorities in check. Time is short. You need to wake up. You need to be ready to one day meet your maker. I will be sincere to you that God's jealousy is a bid to save you. He can go miles for your sake. When the children of Israel went against God, in a bid to keep them to himself, he had to show them signs. In Judges 2, 11 through 15, after Joshua died, the Israelites did evil in the sight of God. They started to worship Balaam. They forgot about God who brought them out of the land of Egypt. These people were completely going away from the Lord, and in no time, there will be no one to tell them about God anymore. God had to take swift action to protect them by showing them signs. He gave them up to their enemies so that they will know they have made a terrible mistake. This is the extent God can go to make you know that he loves you. He will make you see signs that the path you are following is not a good one. God will do whatever it takes to keep you to himself, but the whatever it takes is not always an easy one. You need to know the essence of God's jealousy now and run to the right path, forsaking the path that leads to destruction. God has given us Jesus to die for our sins. He made everything available to us just to keep us to himself. The reason is that he doesn't want us to be destroyed. Can't you see? Sin leads nowhere but death, and it is not this physical death, but the second death, the one that has no end, the one that is full of agony, pain, and suffering. This is what God is saving you from. God is not planning to destroy you. The jealous attitude of God is not out of hatred, but out of pure love for you. If God doesn't care about you, he would have allowed the devil to have his way with you a long time ago. If God didn't care about you, he would have forsaken you and never even remembered you anymore. If God didn't care about you, you wouldn't have existed in the first place. Don't take this love for granted. Don't think God is jealous of you or jealous of the idol you have raised in your heart. It will take God nothing to destroy that. But he wants your heart to draw near to him. He wants you for himself only and doesn't want to share you with anything or anyone else. Have you made a human being a god in your life? Have you made technology a priority in your life? Have you thrown God somewhere and then replaced him with social media? What have you replaced God with in your life? These things cannot save you. Maybe you've made your wealth a god in your life. You worship your wealth so much you don't even think of anything else. All of these things will cease to exist someday, but only God will remain, and that is why God is protecting you. That is why he is trying to tell you that he loves you. The damage that sin has done in the Garden of Eden is not a small one. It is something that has affected humanity. God understands this, but he is saying to you, I will not let you go. God is telling you that he will not let the devil have you. God is telling you that he will not let Satan and his angels have you. He is keeping you for himself only. You are not the work of the hands of Satan. God created you. The idol you are worshiping did not create you. The wealth you are worshiping did not create you. The celebrity you have raised high above God in your life did not create you, and so God cannot let them have you. 
He is jealous for your sake, and he has done everything possible to protect you and keep you to himself. All you have to do is make that decision right now that you are going to follow him.